ridiculous things can truly be once it gets moving and popping not only did they show us uh, like how much power and craziness can be in this show when it comes down to the people who are straight up in the background making their moves now um, it's pretty clear that whoever doesn't have the most driving force is probably not going to last too long in the case of with the power that they've showcased on our team and the power that has already been showcased by the other team uh, we are in trouble <laughs> like we are truly in a position where things are not looking good for us and because they're not looking good for us we can only imagine what's about to come around the corner and how much problems that's gonna lead up for us because holy crap guys I did not I honestly did not expect this much uh, like of a it's just not much of a competition, right? Like, it feels like they honestly have the upper hand. And because they have the upper hand, there's not much um, our team can actually do in the grand scheme of beating out a bunch of people who have already put forward the notion that whenever they get hurt or whenever someone else on the team gets hurt, the boss takes it personally right like the boss actually wants to be the one to not only tell you he's sorry that you're experiencing this pain but whatever pain you're experiencing it's mine as well so these are the types of people that you should truly fear when it comes down to shows because not only was this cool in the grand scheme of how he's handling it how he's going about taking in this information he's honest about it too seemingly right like he really does want to make the best out of a situation of one of his teammates running off by himself getting beaten because he underestimated the people and didn't have anybody with him but it doesn't really make sense for him to wait as well being uh, the speed demon you know like why would the guy who's ridiculously fast wait and not try to catch the people when we just seen uh, we just seen what he's capable of when it comes down to him fighting by himself it didn't even need any help so why why did why would he wait you know so there clearly hasn't been enough people to give him actual cause to be a uh, like you know cautious and stuff like that they clearly been doing this for a while and like he had the severed head he tried to plan ahead of time and it still wasn't really enough to shake the people and into submission right but the other part of that is showing the head and acting as if you know your your people are the top dogs he thought he would have a lot more time and instead it triggered somebody who I've been dying to see actually fight excuse me and of course once he does fight he gets held back like all animes usually do but it looks like he wasn't holding back too much, right? Like, unless he's still holding back, even when he saw the giant gorilla guy, the boss, then he's just dumb for holding back. But I don't think he was, because he was actually shocked to see that once he punched the boss dead on, like in the square of his nose and practically his eyeball, nothing happened. 
he was not affected in the slightest so it kind of goes to show what we're dealing with power wise like this punch was strong enough to remove an entire bottom jaw of somebody and after we see it used on someone like the boss it doesn't even make him twitch right like he doesn't even it's like yeah. oh you got pretty much right like he just he just kind of scuffs at the idea that that was even a hit <laughs> um so we honestly already have a pretty good idea of where that is going to probably head at the end of the day thanks to just how powerful and uh, ridiculous some of the things have happened in here that they're just showcasing the gorilla is no one to be messed with including with the girl who actually uh was never showcased afterwards when she like picked a fight with them and now we actually know what the heck happened she lost her whole entire head I mean to be fair even if she beat one of them there was there's so many of them and plus the one person I'm kinda curious about is the dude with the sword like he has a sword his eyes are like wrapped for some reason so I'm really curious to see what he actually brings to the table compared to just um, watching the people we already know who are pretty strong. Like we already had an idea that the gorilla guy was pretty ridiculous once he attacked the girl way back in what, like two episodes ago, three episodes, um, and punched one time. Like we already had a good idea of how strong he was going to be. Uh, including when we know that the people who can kind of just transmog parts of their bodies and not full transformation like they just make their hands stronger they make their arms stronger sorry hands and their legs stronger or that makes it so they can run faster stuff like that we all know that um, they're pretty strong just by what we've seen from some of them maybe not they're they're not all based at the same level but even as we just saw here this is another character who just straight up um, the person who punched off the jaw is one that doesn't fully transform and we see how strong he is he's strong enough to do things that the person our main character couldn't even do or keep up with right so there's a lot to be seen and that hasn't been shown yet and I'm looking very much forward to just getting an idea of how strong all these people are because as of right now excuse me as of right now we only have good guess of what's going to happen and who's strong enough like the monkey guy should pretty much take out everybody at this point and that's crazy to think but at the same time we have no reason to believe elsewise just by how strong and ridiculously powerful he already comes off so there's that and the oddest fact of the matter that um, everything we've seen so far, everything that's been transpiring with certain characters wanting to kind of push forward in the case of getting the coins, the girl with the helmet that got inside of our main guy for a little bit clearly knows that someone has collected all the coins so what they're doing is relatively pointless you know like they should practically just be hunting down the person who has uh, the person who has taken the necessary steps to become the king you know like they have to actually take out so many people in the case of um, in the case of uh whoever has all those coins does the coins make them stronger do the coins you know better their chances of being able to fight anybody that they need to fight or by hunting down the people with the coins does that mean that the people the people holding the coins have already destroyed multiple upon multiple strong opponents to get said coins so i don't know who has them all uh but what we do know is the powers in this show are just uh, kind of there right like they're just kind of being showcased to us still 
we still don't know much about them so that's another thing to look very much forward to is how strong are some of these people how cool do their abilities get over time uh, we know someone could grow watermelons and stuff and pretty much never need to eat or uh, never need to go to the store and buy anything he could live off uh, healthy stuff for the rest of his life but at the same time he was targeted so quick this week that I'm actually scared to see if they take any of these characters out from this group that we're following or if any of these people actually get out alive and maybe go into hiding if their group gets disbanded from like loss or something like that but overall hope you guys have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you're watching this I am your boy the anime G and I will definitely talk to you sooner than later so with all that being said take care and peace Ah, ah, ah. Wow. That's the same attack, buddy. Can I get my special? There it is. I'm not done. Oh, ah, ah. Said I'm not done. Let's get it.